What's up, guys? Michaela Vernava, Zach Cox at Gillette Stadium. Week one of the NFL season upon us, and the Patriots receiving core looking a lot better than it was earlier in this summer. We talked a lot about how thin that group was. Now Josh Gordon's back. Aside from him, the obvious actors, Julian Edelman, how are you feeling about the depth in the receiving core? Yeah, the depth, I think, is okay right now. The Obviously, getting Josh Gordon back, getting Demarius Thomas back, kind of the emergence of Jacoby Myers has all sort of solidified this group that was really looking, as you said, pretty shaky about a month or two ago. But even though we know all the, all the players that are going to be here and the depth doesn't really look like a problem, it's still really hard to predict what this exact receiving core is going to look like. I mean, you obviously have Julian Edelman there at that number one spot. You probably have Josh Gordon in there at that number two spot as long as he's kind of physically fit and ready to go after, after being away from the team for so long. That number three, probably Demarius Thomas. He's dealing with an injury right now. He was also missed all of training camp, most of the preseason with an injury. Maybe Philip Dorsett, he sees some time there. Maybe Jacoby Myers sees some time there. There's a lot of potential in this group, but as Tom Brady and Bill Belichick both talked about this week, there's not really a lot of kind of clarity. Tom Brady hasn't thrown to a lot of these guys in a game setting, and even a guy like Josh Gordon, he hasn't thrown to in, in quite a while before he came back from suspension. So outside of Julian Edelman, a lot of question marks for this group going into the season. And the biggest loss for the Patriots, obviously, Rob Gronkowski. As for the tight ends right now, it's really Matt Lacoste and Ryan Izzo. What are you expecting out of that group? Yeah, honestly, anything that the Patriots get out of this tight end group from a receiving standpoint is going to kind of be viewed as a bonus. I mean, I, I think Ryan Izzo is, he played very well as a run blocker during the preseason and actually did, made some nice plays in the passing game as well. But him and, and Matt Lacoste are not anywhere close to kind of Gronk-level talents as, as pass catchers. I, I really said, I mean, I made the prediction earlier this offseason that all of the Patriots' tight ends combined wouldn't finish with as many receiving yards as Rob Gronkowski had, la had last year. I'm sticking with that. I mean, maybe it'll improve a little bit once Ben Watson gets back uh, from suspension in week five, but I really think this passing game is going to run through those wide receivers and then through these, uh, th through these Patriots running backs, at least early in the year. All right. Thanks, Zach. Make sure to keep it on Nesson.com for all your Patriots news.